to bolt this into the floorboard, we have to separate the base from the valve. So I'll have to remove three bolts, the ones under here, so we can get the plate. The plate will sit above the floorboard, and the valve will bolt in from below. Now we can access this bolt to remove the plate. Screwing in the gauge bracket. This, this gauge is a, uh, a dual air pressure gauge. It shows the air pressure in the primary and the secondary air tanks. We have the system split, just like a dual master cylinder in a car. Front brake has its own air tank. Rear brake has its own air tank. So it uses two separate uh, fittings for each air pressure tank. That way it shows uh, the pressure and the front brake and the rear brake tank on one dial. The governor that controls the air compressor's output allows the compressor to pump the system up to 120 PSI and then it has a range that it falls down to about 85 pounds pressure in the tanks. At that point the governor tells the compressor to start compressing again and builds the, the air system back up to 120. So it operates between 85 and 120. This will be the air valve that controls the parking brakes. Pull to apply, push to release. Pushing the valve sends air to the spring brakes to push them back and release the brakes. This valve has one supply in, two deliveries out, we're only using one, and one exhaust port which remains open. We're going to install the uh, parking brake valve in the hole that was already drilled in, in the dash. We'll secure it with the nut. So the parking brake valve and the air gauge will now be ready to plumb the, um, the air lines to it.